Hello, a quick introduction to lighting solutions offered by Genic and why you should consider them for your design. Street lighting is costing many countries lots of money. Any kind of uh, significant change in operating costs is going to save money for the consumer, for the municipality that implements these costs. It's well worth it to consider adding intelligent lighting. Different studies have done both internal and external lighting, uh, internal lighting inside of a building. There's lots of cost savings to be realized. The number one way to achieve that, though, is if you read the quote on bullet item three, smart lighting sources. They have to be intelligent and communicative. That's what Genic offers is the intelligent control. The major reason to investigate intelligent lighting is to reduce maintenance costs. You do not have to send people out to visually inspect bulbs. You can reduce the maintenance costs by dimming the lights as they're not needed and even remotely control light fixtures on and off. You can even extend the life of bulbs by thermally adjusting the bulbs with a microcontroller and monitoring it. Indoor lighting has a lot of applications, namely everybody's interested in is worker productivity, not only do you make workers happier and relieve stress, but you're also reducing your energy costs at the same time and reducing your HVAC loads by not having light fixtures turned on that aren't needed. Retail lighting has applications for providing the right atmosphere for promoting products, whether it's the right color temperature in a produce department, which is different than it would be at a jewelry counter, versus in a a meat department where certain colors would not be, not be acceptable. All of those can be adjusted by having an intelligent lighting control. Indoor lighting also provides visitor impact. If you can mimic solar cycles and adjust color temperature, it makes it a much more pleasurable experience for the user. There's lots of ways to save money in retail. Here's a chart showing just how much lights are turned on in a typical grocery store, even though they may have solar lighting and have light fixtures near windows that are turned on for almost a whole day. If you could dim those lights just slightly, you'd be able to save a significant amount of energy costs. And energy costs are a significant portion of retail businesses. You can see a very significant portion of their operating budget has to do with lighting, and you would want to reduce those costs. What does Genic offer? An intelligent control to reduce energy costs for safety reasons. You can dim lights, turn lights on when they're needed, turn them off when they're not needed, both indoor and outdoor lighting. The security is very high on a wireless network. You are able to create multiple lighting networks on different sides of the street. There's no cross-coupling. Each one has a separate channel. All the data is sent encrypted. You can also allow service personnel to have a handheld device and be able to check a network. So for instance, a technician can drive up and down the street, verify that the network is working, find out how much lamp life is left and so forth, things that would not be possible for a wired communication system. The important thing to note is that the Genic system is based on 15.4 radios, which are worldwide compliance, all channels, all areas of the world. The modules are worldwide certified. They're built in robust 16 channels, 2.4 gigahertz clear channel assessment. Make sure that the data will arrive from the transmitter to the receiver without issues. If it does, it can switch channels. Lots of technology. Additional benefits you could do besides just on off control is color temperature adjustment could be done on your light fixture with the right algorithms. Lumen depreciation typically has to be done with LED light fixtures. That means your LED light fixture probably already has a microcontroller inside of it because the Genic microcontroller is a 32-bit microcontroller. It can run not only the networking stack, but also do your lighting fixtures such as uh, dimming, lumen depreciation, color adjustment, even solar cycle uh, simulations and illuminations, which would save you not only energy costs, but also worker productivity. So again, lots of benefits for using a Genic microcontroller in your light fixture. Specifically for street lighting, you can have multiple arrays of street lights talking to a gateway computer and from a central location, know whether the light fixtures are working or not. The technology is based on GenNet. 
software stack, very robust stack. It's been in production for many, many years, multiple installation sites. We can support up to 1,000 nodes. However, in practicality, we suggest 500 nodes so that you have redundant paths for your light fixtures. It works in long, thin networks that other network stacks, namely like Zigbee, would not work well. Zigbee would work well if it was a cluster arrangement but street lighting is typically long, thin networks, and that is well-suited for GenNet. You have multiple built-in redundancy so that each light fixture can see another light fixture. It can see light fixtures across the street so that it can get messages across and therefore can self-heal. In addition, over the network, programming is available. This example is showing, for instance, coordinator code version 1, C1, can be updated to version code 2 at the endpoints and routers by propagating through the network. The nodes drop off the network and then reassemble at the reconnect at the right time so that your network is reformed the way it was optimized. Lots of access. You can put a database in to network your units and have remote access to your light fixtures. A gateway design, which you have reference designs for, would allow you to have a modem or some other type or a Wi-Fi backbone to carry out your networking. Each streetlight has intelligence. It knows what group it belongs to. It can have accelerometers to tell you if a light pole is falling down. It can do network updates. It can be pre-programmed for any time interval that you wish. Installing a new node requires almost no setup. You plug in the node. It finds itself on the network and forms the network tree. As we mentioned, long, thin networks are hopping down the streets and across the streets so that you can get network coverage. Other uses for it is you can do RFID tracking as people and objects are moving down the street. That same network could be used to ping the light poles and track those people, send the information to a gateway and allows a village to make additional income from that network that's already installed, the matrix of street lights. Vehicles moving down the street could also be tracked. Again, the same network that does the light fixture and could be tracking vehicles. It is possible to put a panic button or a taxi call button on these light fixtures. They would be wireless when somebody presses them. The data is sent to a central database. Local law enforcement officials can carry a handheld remote device and either turn the lights on full brightness if there's been an incident or turn off lights if they're going to do an operation. It's very easy to route signals inside and outside of a building so that you can potentially operate both indoor and outdoor lighting from one database, one gateway, and be able to do it over the internet from any kind of handheld device or a PC. The wireless microcontroller can interface other sensors, as we mentioned, serial links, temperature, accelerometer, dimming circuits can all be added. Reference design shows single light fixtures. We also have reference designs for lighting ballasts, for LDR dimming, all of that can be provided to the user. Development kit provides gateway and router boards. We also can show you here how a router board and a coordinator from our development kit can be used. The light sensors on the development board can mimic an ambient light sensor that's used on your product. Full software source code is provided for the GUI control running under Java. It can show light fixtures turning on and off or individually adjusting them, the full network stack. You can turn on uh, globally all the lights, turn them off. You can run a self-test on the network. The advanced networking shows you exactly how the tree structure is formed. You can optimize it and reshape it. Grouping at the application layer allows a device to know if it's on a particular street in a particular neighborhood or in a village so that all the lights in that group can be turned on just by a group command rather than individually pulling those light fixtures. Uh, great benefit for your application. Load balancing and networking is done on the uh, device fixtures uh, using GenNet. All of this is provided in a 119-page manual from GenNet. And this is all provided to you at no charge. Source code is given out, reference designs. We just want you to use our silicon devices to provide intelligent control and provide a better product to the market. Any questions?